Welcome, Cancer. This is your reading for March 2020. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for tuning in to Deja Vu Divine Guidance. And Cancer, let me tell you something. I like the energy of your reading. Um, but let's jump right into it. In your environment, we have the gift, present, honoring, offering. And right up under that, we have resurrection, comeback, rebirth, renewal. So you guys are in a great space right now. You guys are in a great space right now. Your energy feels really good. Um, there's a lot of healing that is going on presently um, and that has been uh, ongoing. Very good, Cancer. Um, you've been doing the work. In your uh, recent past energy, we have the Hope card. Very good. Clarifying that we have the Four of Cups. So it looks like um, you have a lot of um, ideas. Um, you're just, you know, going over it in your mind, trying to figure out which one is the right choice. You you know, trying to make the right choice. That's in your recent past uh, position. I'd like to consult the book for that as well to see what else we can pick out of that. Four of Cups, all this cup energy uh, in your reading, I'm not surprised because Cancer, you are a water sign and the cups do represent water or emotions. So let's see what that Four of Cups says. Give me just a moment, Cancer. Let's see. So the Four of Cups says... Don't let a hit to your self-confidence spoil the pleasures life has to offer. Open your heart. Realize you are valuable and special. An excellent opportunity is right in front of you, but you're letting insecurity and unworthiness get in the way of growth. You have the support you need to grow. And I get the feeling, Cancer, that you already know that, this being in your recent past position so this is something you have overcome you know you've been believing in yourself and you know that happens in cycles you know we we all have times when we um, might doubt ourselves or um or lean too heavily on what others think uh but i don't see that being a problem for you cancer um you definitely um, have a mind of your own and you know how to go with your gut. You're very intuitive yourself. So I don't see that being a problem for you, especially because in your present position, we have foundations and achievements. You have done the work. You've done the hard work to build the foundation for yourself, your family, um, your own mental uh, state of being. You you did that, Cancer. And so now you're in a celebration mode, you know, where you can give your gifts to others and spread the love. You're in a place where you can give the gift. <laughs> give of your gifts. Great reading, Cancer. Great reading. And so on the other side of that, in your outcomes, I got look, all three of these cards flew out, okay? And this is clarifying that. But all three of these flew out, okay? So we have base chakra and crown chakra. So this is telling me you need to possibly need to balance your chakras. You know, you've... you've um, You've accomplished a lot, um, and you have come a very long way. Um, some of you, you know, are the first in your family to do many things. Um, but make sure you're taking the time for yourself that you need to slow down, you know. You could be moving at a pretty fast pace. Maybe, maybe not. Some of you, that's not for all of you. Of course, this is a general reading. Uh, but yeah, celebration and Material and spiritual prosperity. That doesn't happen by accident. You've been doing the work. So make sure you're keeping yourself uh, balanced. Make sure you're keeping yourself balanced. 
balance of your chakras, meditate, you know, do meditation, dancing, um, <clears throat> getting grounded, taking walks in nature, uh, wearing the color red, you know, for the base chakra or violet, you know, for the crown chakra. Um, yeah. Looks like you need to, first of all, to stay grounded. Um, but also remember to tune in to the divine within you. That's where all these great creative ideas are coming from. You know, and staying grounded, uh, remembering to take care of um, those things that we have to take care of naturally because we do live in the physical um, dimension. <laughs> Um, but we are multi-dimensional beings. That's why it's so important to make sure that all of our chakras are in balance uh, because they all coincide with the many different dimensions that we function on. Material and spiritual prosperity. So clarifying all of this right here, we have the Eight of Wands. So I'm going to consult the book uh, for this. I see, but I see action. I see achievement, um, balance, um, travel. Let's see. Let's see what the book says. Eight of Wands. Uh, Eight of Wands, the signs are clear, at least they should be if you're paying attention. The Eight of Wands indicates a message, a sign, a signal of what direction to take. Clues are being dropped for you about how to move forward. These indicators may point to emotional security or home life. Other meanings include travel. Hmm, didn't I say that? So, Cancer, some of you are going to be traveling uh, other meanings include travel, relocation, and receipt of important news. So some of you are going to be getting some big news. Uh, some big news that's going to elevate you in some way. Or uh, you, some of you are relocating. Uh, some of you relocating across the world. Some across the block <laughs> but some of you are going to be moving uh i definitely see travel i definitely see travel uh and that's something else that came in came up in my uh meditation uh before the reading before the pre-shuffle uh i heard going the distance And I just got that. This is confirmation for somebody. Yes, go ahead and do it. Go the distance. Go the distance. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off big time for you. Okay? That's what I just heard from Spirit. Go. You're going the distance. It's going to pay off. Good stuff. Good stuff. Some of you have been bombarded with ideas ideas you're gonna pick the right one you're gonna pick the right one relax into it you're gonna know exactly something is about to unfold some sort of news is coming that's gonna let you know that's gonna clue you in that's gonna make you say ah i know which one i, I know which one and you'll know which one of these cups to uh choose and end up here <laughs> which are material and spiritual prosperity. Very good, Cancer. What a great reading, you guys. Um, let's see. The Eight of Wands also says, life is full of parallels. For example, something a friend is experiencing a thousand miles away might be similar to what you're going through. The universe sends you messages from all kinds of sources. These signs and similarities point to various directions you can take in life. Be observant and focused. Pay attention to cues that help you make decisions for your advancement. That's, that's, the, that's the other word I was looking for for this part, advancement. 
congratulations, Cancer. And so, in your, and then on the bottom of the deck, we had the heart chakra, um, which makes sense because that's smack dab in the middle of, yeah. So, you want to make sure you're allowing yourself to recharge. Um, yeah, you want to tune in, meditate. We're coinciding colors. Get you a chakra necklace or a chakra bracelet. Those are really cool. If you work with stones, you know, line the stones up according to the colors of your chakras. Um, line them up on the side of your bed or under your mattress even. Um, that helps. Good stuff, y'all. So, let's see. And that was on the bottom. So, But yeah, you're using your gifts. You're already doing that. So, And then on the bottom of this deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So before I read the advice cards, I'm going to go ahead and see what it says for the Queen of Cups. Um, but this says to me, you're someone that is in charge of your uh, emotions um, and comfortable in your own skin. That's the other word uh, that I got in my meditation was comfort. Comfort. And I just added that last part in your own skin. Um, yeah, comfort. Yeah, the, the opposite of this. <laughs> You're not out in the cold. In the least. No, but you have made... You've made a way for yourself. Foundations and achievements. So, you're sitting pretty. Pretty much. Uh, cancer. <laughs> but let's see what the book says for the Queen of Cups. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Queen. Life has handed you vital, sometimes hard lessons. Rather than letting hardships get you down, you converted these challenges into positive growing pains. Your experience has given you clarity about what is important. You protect your values with grace and poise. You have amazing intellectual focus and your psychic perception is keen. But of course, I said that, Cancer. <laughs> and I, I feel like this is you showing up in your own reading. Mm-hmm. Cancer energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this is your reading, Cancer, for March 2020. Thanks again for tuning in uh, to Deja Vu, Divine Guidance. If this reading is resonating with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below how it is resonating with you. I'd like to know, and I do respond to all comments. Keep it positive, guys. But I know I don't have to tell you that, Cancer. All right. And in your advice, for your advice card, I pulled from the... I'll list the decks um, down below. Uh, but in your advice, I pulled from the Lightworker Oracle deck. Uh, and we pulled the Ascension, the number 18 Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge, which kind of reminds me of this card. And whenever I see a rainbow, the message for me, what that means for me is that the promises of God are yours. The promises of God, of God are yours. And so this advice card um, may be a reminder, just a reminder uh, for you to to remember that. The, the promises of God are yours. But let's see what the book says. It may be lengthy, so I'll just pick out what stands out to me for you, Cancer, okay? Just a moment. All right, 18, Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge. You have been growing spiritually and your consciousness is expanding. 
It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. Beautiful. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Wait, let me start that sentence over. Hold on. <laughs> I stopped too soon. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura, chakras, and physical body. As you physically expand, you may need more rest, healing, and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you. The rainbow bridge is a term for the channel of light that moves through your chakra system and along your spine, allowing spirit to enter your body and stimulate the development of your soul. This bridge comes to life as your consciousness is raised. It draws in higher energies that nourish and awaken your body, mind, and soul through your chakra system. So if this is not confirmation, I don't know what is. Um, as your chakras become stimulated by the increasing influx of spiritual light, a clearing process begins, which supports the consequent expansion of your consci consciousness. This clearing is like a spiritual detoxification. It clears blocks from your mind, emotional body, and physical body, as well as from your soul, such as unresolved past life issues or even just past issues, period. As these blocks are broken down and processed, emotional trauma stored in your organs and nervous system can be released and your energy field becomes more spacious. This creates room for an increase of spiritual light. As a result, you feel clearer about who you are and why you are here. And others see you more clearly when they are in your field. In your field. You become more powerful. It makes all the sense in the world. And it just, you know, you're becoming more comfortable with your own light. That's great. All right, Cancer, this has been your reading for March 2020. Thank you again for tuning in to Deja View Divine Guidance. I love you guys and see you again soon.